honorable members select paragraphs from the address by the president of india shrimati dropti murmuji to parliament and the rest may be taken as read honorable members it gives me a great pleasure to address both houses of parliament assembled together a few months back our country completed 75 years of independence and entered the amrit kal this amrit kal period of 25 years is the period of golden centenary of independence and making of a developed india in almost 9 years of my government's term the people of india have witnessed many positive changes for the first time honorable members lord basweshwar had said kai kave kailash which means karm is worship and shiva is in the karm itself following this path my government is actively engaged in performing the duty of nation building today india has a government working at unprecedented speed and scale today i express my gratitude through this session to the people of the country for electing a stable government for two consecutive terms over the years the country has developed a stable and transparent regime in the form of dbt and digital india today the monetary benefits of more than 300 schemes are directly reaching the bank accounts of the beneficiaries so far an amount of more than rupees 27 lakh crores has reached crores of beneficiaries with complete transparency to provide har ghar jal my government has started jal jeevan mission in the last few years the government has provided pakka houses to more than 3 and 1/2 crore poor families the government has spent about 3.5 lakh crore for free food grants to the poor under pm grim grib kalyan and yojana 11 crore small farmers of the country are also on the priority list of my government these small farmers have been given financial assistance of more than rupees 2.25 lakh crores under the pm kisan samman nidhi for the first time the country started celebrating the birth anniversary of bhagwan birsa munda as janjatiy gorav divas recently the government paid tribute to the tribal revolutionaries at the national level in mangad dham for the first time my government has demonstrated its commitment to the welfare of obcs by giving constitutional status to the national commission for backward classes honorable members from education to their career my government is trying to remove all obstacles for daughters the swachh bharat abhiyan has not only increased the dignity of women it has also provided them safe environment our daughters are now studying and training in sunny schools as well as military academies it is my government which has increased the maternity leave from 12 weeks to 26 weeks today on one hand ayodhya dham is being constructed in the country while on the other hand the modern parliament house is also being built while 75 amrit sarovars are being built in every district on the occasion of azadi ka amrit mahotsav at the same time hundreds of modern vande bharat trains are also being launched what was once rajpath is now kartavya path today the statue of netaji subhash chandra bose on kartavya path is making every indian proud 
and we have honored the valor of Netaji and the Azad Hind force in Andaman and Nicobar also. 21 islands of Andaman and Nicobar have been also named after Pramvir Chakravadis of the Indian Army. On the one hand, the National War Memorial has become a symbol of national valor, while on the other, our Navy has also got the insignia given by Chhatrapati Veer Shivaji Maharaj. On the one hand, while museums related to all tribal freedom fighters, including Bhagwan Birsa Munda, are being built, on the other hand, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar's Panch Tirth have also been built. The country has observed the first Veer Bal Divas with pride and reverence. Today, we have initiated efforts for manufacturing of semiconductor chips and aeroplanes in India. As a result of new initiatives of my government, our defense exports have grown six times. I am proud that the first indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, has also joined our forces. Honorable members, our sports persons have proved their talent is second to none by performing phenomenally in Commonwealth Games, Olympics, and Para Games. The speed and the scale at which my government is working for development of the country is unprecedented and unparalleled. After the formation of my government, on an average, 11,000 houses were built every day for the poor in India under Avas Yojana. More than 55,000 gas connections were given every day. Within just two years, India administered more than 220 crore vaccine doses. The national highway network has grown by more than 55% during the last eight years. Similarly, the country's aviation sector is also growing rapidly. Up to 2014, where the number of airports in the country were 74, it has now increased to 147. The government has increased the solar power capacity by almost 20 times in the last eight years. This year, India has assumed the presidency of an influential global group like G20. With the mantra of one earth, one family, one future, India is attempting to find collective solutions to the current global challenges in collaboration with G20 member countries. Honorable members, this is the best phase of India's global relations. We have strengthened our cooperation and friendship with various countries in the world. Today, the world is also acknowledging India's tough stand on tourism. Due to this, India's voice against terrorism is being heard seriously on every global platform. Let's unreach our democracy by living up to the dictum of Veda, we says, let us walk together, step by step, understand each other's mind, and let there be a flow of unity in our resolutions. Let us fulfill the oath of the Constitution by walking on our Kartave path in this Mahayag of nation building. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.